what scares you? In your life, what is it that makes your heart go pitter-patter and maybe you get a little bit shaky, maybe even your hands get sweaty? Do you know what it is that scares you? You know what scares me? Asking for help. Since I was a little, little, really little kid, I've been afraid to ask somebody for help. Where does it come from? I don't know, obviously something that happened when I was a little kid. I was about three years old. I was watching my mom hang clothes on the line and I sat down on a folding chair, got my finger caught in it. I couldn't get my finger out and ask for help. So what did I do? I yanked it out yanked off the top of my finger, went by the end of ambulances, then a uh, special police car took me in to the emergency room. Well, they didn't let parents go in with you to the emergency room then. I don't know if they do now anyway. So I'm in there, a little kid all by myself, and I'm not crying. And I don't remember being scared. And this little boy came in and he was on the table next to me. He had a broken arm and he started to cry. And this dumb doctor said to him, look at that little girl over there. She just had a bunch of stitches put in her finger and she didn't cry at all. It's like, who tells you what to be afraid of and when you're not allowed to be afraid? Honestly, I'm in my 70s now. And I still have to have this argument in my head before I ask somebody for help. That's what scares me. Why does it scare me? I don't know. What in your life scares you? Chances are it doesn't make any sense. So think about it for a minute and think about well, what action could you take to stop being scared? What I do is I just used to be scared and not realize that I was afraid to ask for help. And then I realized, oh, that's what I'm not doing. I'm not asking for help. So now when I'm aware of it, I have this debate that goes on inside my mind telling me it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. And every time I do, and I mean even for little things, Every time I do, it's like, whew, I did it. Like, it's a major victory for me. Do you have anything going on in your life where you would love to have a major victory to change the habit that's making you uncomfortable and letting you not be afraid to take that certain action or even just think that certain thought? Go ahead, let us know down below. And if you do, and if you also tell me where you're listening from or watching from, I will invite you to a live video call with me because I want to know who you are. I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and you are joining me here right now for Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. And it's all about the things usually out of our awareness. Well, not usually 100% of what's causing our lives to look as they do. It's happening out of our awareness. So as we become more and more aware, and we only do that by going within, what's the benefit of going within? Everything in your life that you experience happens within. Not in your thinking mind, not in your emotional heart, but in your heart that's tuning in to all the vibrations in your world, everything, you, me, the chair you're sitting on, the room you're in, the tree outside your window, the snow falling, everything, the birds, vibrates at a particular frequency. We can tune in to all those different frequencies. What are you tuning into? Did you ever notice you're with somebody and you can tell they're scared or you can tell they're sad? It doesn't even have to be somebody you know. You can just tell. What do you think it is that's giving you that information? 
you're tuning in to their energy, to their vibration. You know, if you're somebody who's concerned about how your skin looks, go down to the link in the show notes and contact me. I will talk with you about a brand new technology, not a bunch of chemicals. There's nothing dangerous in there. Do you know that Botox is a neurotoxin? If you're using Botox, you're killing your brain. Anyway, I'll show you how without any kind of drugs or dangerous chemicals to actually get your body to regenerate your youth inside as well as outside. Because that's the only way to live a healthy life within and it will always show on the outside. I invite you to join our Facebook group where you can make a new friend. Ask me a question. See the extras that I put in there during the week. And you can always go to our show site where you will find a video and an audio of the show, every show. So you have a choice of what to do there. The other thing that I'd love for you to do up there is leave a review. When you leave a review, you're letting somebody else know what the show's about so they can tell, well, is that something I'm going to like? And you know what would even be more helpful for your friends? Tell two friends what you like about the show and why you listen to it. Remember that Audible always has a special offer through my link for you to download the audiobook of your choice and take 30 days to look around. It's a big site. Lots of cool stuff you won't see any place else. Remember to enjoy every moment. That's I N capital J O Y, because nothing in your life happens out there outside of you. I appreciate your supporting us by joining our community and for a donation of one or five dollars, depending on the level, you can join me every single month in a live video call where you get to participate, where I get to see you if you're choosing to be seen. And we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. And I'll also read your names at the beginning of each show as a thank you for being part of our community. And I'll see you here next time.